The Webster's Merriam Dictionary defines wedding as the bonding of two metals. And that really sticks out to me because of your love of rocks. <laughs> Lady Long, you accepted Nate in his chin strap phase. Boom, roasted. <clears throat> I knew from the moment I met you at JMU that you and Nate would eventually fall in love and get married. You were Theta Chi's original sweetheart when we brought back that tradition. You two truly are a fantastic couple, and I love how much better you make each other as a cohesive unit. A match made in left aid. I mean heaven. <laughs> Thank you for your service, and you look absolutely stunning tonight. Um, Shannon's never even seen me cry, so. <laughs> um, how beautiful Shannon looks in her wedding dress tonight. Your fairy tale vision truly came to life. Um, and Nathan, you look so handsome as well. Um, the night is sparkling, don't you let it go. Matter of fact, Nate, I wouldn't have known you if I hadn't have met you, so there we go. <laughs> so I was impressed, very impressed, Nathan. I can see he was a great person. Seeing them together is very clear. They're a great match, and I can see the love they have for one another. I knew giving our daughter away wouldn't be easy. Nathan, we could not ask for a better son-in-law. We always put Shannon first and take great care of her. And Shannon, don't play the princess card too much. <laughs> You're the brother that I always wanted. I am so thrilled that I met you and can call you a best friend for life. No matter where life takes us, I have no doubt that no matter how many years go by, we will pick up like we hadn't missed a beat. I am so excited to gain you, Nathan, as a cousin-in-law. I can't wait for the future trips to the family beach cottage and for future holidays spent together. I wish you both nothing but the best as you start this new chapter. Cheers to the Longs. <laughs> Um, I could not have chosen a more perfect person to marry my best friend, and I will be forever grateful that she found you. Guests, feel free to go ahead and take your seats as we invite Shannon and Nathan to join together in their first dance as husband and wife. Shannon, your positive energy, your love, and your nurture for others compliments Nathan so greatly. She had five or six <laughs> Disney princess outfits where she'd dress up all the time. And her favorite was Belle, Beauty and the Beast. That was her favorite. Nathan, we've heard the many romantic ways that you've made Shannon feel like Princess Belle. 
If you treat Shannon half as good as you treat your fish, we know you're in good hands. Shannon, I've loved growing with you over the years, and I've loved watching you find love. The way he treats her, the way he cared for her, the way he made her smile, um, I know everyone in this room can attest to that. And I can honestly say in the 10 years that I have been friends with Shannon, I have never seen her happier than I do today and since she's been with him. I think everyone can agree your love for each other shines so brightly between you both. advice, Nathan. You may have some great ideas and thoughts. Just remember, she's always right. And Shannon, you have to let him be right once in a while. Tonight we celebrate your love, but we also celebrate a lifetime of happiness to come for the both of you. I love you both so much, and I am so honored to be here tonight to give this speech because you are in love, you are in true love. Please join us wishing Nathan and Shannon many years of wedding bliss and a house full of children. For Casey Cusack and Henry Love!